blessed love and peace rastafari what up brother corey x corey brother x and what's out media fam kinfolk kindred brethren and sister this is a brief follow-up on our conversation from yesterday i'm not sure when you're gonna post the other brief uh, original joint whatever four hours something like that anyways um beauty beauty give thanks and praise um but uh in that conversation um the i asks i hear about what i learn from my legal teachers my legal professors my law school teachers i.e bob marley stevie wonder and sade and i mentioned uh some some brief things beautiful question um appropriate to have appropriate response to that um so this is this is like the concise joint um the thing i learned particularly and again first of all i have to say like i have also additional lawyers or law, law school professors who are beautiful and share beautiful lessons as well so uh, I'm, I'm not pish poshing and de denigrating my formal education either but seriously sade bob marley stevie wonder many of my prominent professors and during law school <clears throat> so what do i learn how about this universal love um spiritual love um and the law that exists and that pervades and that guides and that governs universal love spiritual love um and so it's it's a uh, it's a divine love and it's powerful but at the same time it requires discipline and responsibility and awareness and respect because um, it can be easily confused and manipulated through other selfish purposes like um, sexual predatoriness, even just sexual confusion and indulgence. And additionally, so uh, and, that, and, and that's it's very appropriate to recognize that because um, one way I describe it is like. Um, that, that universal, like, divine love, uh, it goes, like, it's the, that's the most immediate thing that we experience in this life. Um, and so, with whomever we have that connection, relation, because it actually is with everybody, but for those who, like, have that increasingly tangible, um, direct... Uh, mutual acknowledgement and experience who communicate that directly with each other that's like that's tighter than tight uh, the Quran says closer than the jugular vein and additionally so <clears throat> when somebody has that type of immediacy one that's one way of describing it immediacy um, that's vulnerability that's access the 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 shields are down uh, and so there's power with that um, and that's the necessity of being vulnerable. So one way of describing it is, and, and I'm going some more tangible. I'm going to say I'm going to share three songs, one song from each teacher that exemplifies what I'm saying here. But I'm going to go through the verbiage first before I just give the the clickbait away or whatever we call it here. Um, the takeaway, the, the 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 work product or whatever else. Um, so. I mentioned in the convo yesterday about three, the, excuse me, the four components of well-being, body, mind, heart, and spirit. Uh, so if we look at love, the expression of love, the experience of love in those four different components, four different categories, we can see love in the body sense is, is a matter of like feeding kinfolk, healing kinfolk, but then also sexual interaction, sexual immediacy. So that's body, that's the bodily expression of love and that immediacy, that connection. The second one is mental love. And mental love, the expression of mental love is listening, therapy, providing advice, how to find solutions to people's problems. And additionally, uh, cognition, how to, to get those wheels turning in a healthy, productive way. I'm cooking curry at the moment as well, so I got to make sure they don't get too Cajun style. Uh, and I say that with reverence and, 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 and respect to Cajun kinfolk. Um, and can I do that? Can I always just like say, it, give a dig to somebody and say, oh, peace and blessings, peace and blessings. Um, call me out. Let's talk about it. Let's reason on that. Mind love is listening, offering, offering being therapeutic, 
uh, offering therapy, providing genuine counsel and, 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 and like consideration about people's problems and, and, and solutions. Uh, and then the heart love is um, commitment and loyalty uh, and, and being there through the thick and thin regularly, regularly. Um, that's the heart love um, and, 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 and attunement with the cycles and, and just like the consistency, the constancy amidst all of that. So that's the third joint, heart love. And then so the spirit love, again, like I said, that's, that's the highest form. Um, and that we express in, the, in this physical, earthly um, trod of the universe. Uh, and so when people express that, that, that spirit love, hoo, 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 it, goes, it goes through the body, it goes through the mind, it goes through the heart, and it's like right there. Um, and it's, it's like people can, it's not just a matter of da, 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 da. It's a matter of like people giving that, because that, it's, exactly, it's exactly even. It's exactly even. It's there. Uh, and so when, when, when someone shares that, we can tell that what is genuine, because it's beyond the words. The words is the mental. That's, that's what that is. So it's limited. Cats is just like this. Yeah, we, we can see that. Yeah, that's, that's not the heart. People are like, this ain't the heart right here. That's not the spirit right here. That's, what, that's just the talk. That's just the words. That's just the mind. So when people give of their heart, when, they when they're coming from their suffering, when they're coming from the things that they've learned, when they're coming with, from their own conversations with God, we feel that. We know that. It, it's even beyond the feels. It's beyond the feels. It's like, it's, again, it's that spiritual connection. Now, and when we express that, um, we have to be mindful because just because we have that doesn't mean we're perfect and that we're not messing up with the body, mind, or heart either. So, and, and even that, that goes for Shaw Day, Stevie Wonder, and Bob Marley, as I mentioned in the joint yesterday. So, um, and that's beneficial to recognize because it can get confusing. If somebody says, you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Like, and then if they're maybe like doing some mix up, mix up on, on the side or whatever, it's like, wait, what, what does that love mean? What do you, what you mean by that? Because I know I feel that, I, I feel that spirit thing, but that's not all that is going on here. So we have to be mindful of that and have some sobriety. And that sobriety comes through the healthy living um, so that we can like discern and delineate. So, and that's, again, I ain't perfect. Um, and I've, I've had to go through a long process of learning uh, about that and, and sobering and, and recognizing that um, when, when the distinction between like when people are talking in that universal love sense and in that kind of gray area, could be this way, could be that way, da, 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 da. And, and, initially, and one of the things that helps us to discern how people are meaning that is to see what they do. Um, and obviously we don't see everything that people do, but um, actually, to be honest, first we have to look what we're doing. Uh, and when we clean up what we're doing, it's, we, we better see what's going on around us. So all that being said, three songs, three songs that exemplify what I'm talking about in, in terms of like this universal divine love that, that, that is shared. And again, there's, a, there's law there's about respect um, and and uh, compassion, empathy, honesty, um, loyalty, all those things come are, are part part of like the, the regulations with with the universal love. So <clears throat> three songs, three songs that share this, that articulate this from Shaw Day, Stevie Wonder, and Bob Marley. The first one I'll share is uh, Bob Marley. Could you be loved? That's a very, that, I think that's an appropriate song uh, to look at that expression of love uh, in, in that divine sense. Because in some ways, Bob Marley talks to the audience, to the listener, as the, as the, 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 the listener is a child. There's a lot of that within reggae. Uh, and, and either the child of the, 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 the person speaking or the child of God and or a child of God. So there's a little bit of patience, particularly for an adult dude. Like, oh, what was talking about children? Um, but for those who have find it um, tolerable or otherwise there it is um, but that's one, one notion of love then there's occasions when it's a straight up love song um, turn, you li turn the lights down low and additionally yo there's no mistaking about who he's talking to it's a woman it's not another dude it's not universal love it's not to the brethren it's, it's to a woman so we have to make that distinction and recognize yo, that not all the yous in the, in the lyrics are actually referring to everybody universally so that's appropriate to recognize uh, and then there are the occasions when it's like wait a minute it could be this way it could be that way and it's like oh, I don't it, but that, that's when we have to go into the trust we have to cultivate the discipline within ourselves and we have to say um, whether even just like be, availing ourselves to that gray area 
is, is worth it in that particular track or, or otherwise. But could you be love is an example of that profession, that proclamation of the divine love the, in, in a universal way. And in, 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 in doing that, yo, it's powerful because, uh, yo, cats need to hear that. Cats need to feel that. Um, and so it's a powerful song. Um, could you be love, Bob Marley? Second one, Stevie Wonder, as. Now, that's, again, there's a little bit of gray area with that one as well. However, there is a very much an intentional universality. Um, and Stevie Wonder obviously does the, the, um, the, the love songs when he's talking directly and specifically exclusively to a woman. He's not talking to the brethren. So mindful of that. But then he also shares the universal love songs, have a conversation with God, as we mentioned in the conversation yesterday. Um, and loves in need of love. Uh, and, and additionally, so Stevie Wonder is definitely in that uh, woken, woken, that awakened consciousness, spiritual love um, vibration and, and communication and proclamation. And as is, is one of those songs that proclaims that. But at the same time, there's a, some, a gray area because it can be a matter of him talking to a woman in, in a relationship with a woman. But at the same time, it could be a family member. Uh, and, it, and it can be recognized and understood in a universal sense as well. Um, uh, because, again, the nature of love itself is infinity. It's like, it's like it, that's going, particularly when we're talking about like the divine love, the spirit love, the bodies are gone. It's all energy at that point. And like the energy is just connecting with energy. That's what it is. So like there's no, like the procreation and all those things that come with the fleshly body, like that's, what, huh? Come on, we're just energy right now. That's that spirit love right there. That's that level. But at the same time, we're, for those of us who stay in the body, we, in return, and we go, okay, we got to sober up and be here. When we lend ourselves to that thing in its, in its gray area and there's manipulation or whatever else, then that causes confusion in the body. And so anyways, I've already, I've already kind of addressed that. So As is the second song from, Bob Ma, uh, from Stevie Wonder. Um, AS, that's it. Um, and then from Sade, I had to think about this um, because, like, there are many. There are many with Bob Marley and Steve Wonder, but particularly with, with uh, Sade, again, very, very much a, a proclamation of universal love. And again, like, there's a case in which she's just, it's a straight up love song. She's talking to another dude. So she's not talking to the cistern. She's not talking to universal brethren per se. And actually, I'll just give this little side note caveat. Like, it took me a while to recognize that. When Shadi is singing those love songs uh, about to a man and the way a, a woman loves a man, it, it took me some years to recognize, like properly recognize and wake up and sober up to the fact that she ain't talking to me. She's talking to another dude. Ah, oh, we don't want to think about that, but that's what it is. And but it goes even further because it took me not even years, decades to, to get to that to that awakening. Then. Um, it's that doing that still like there's still this track that where she is it's, it is that universal expression of love um and then what i recognize and this is like further next level and i'm still processing this kind of thing whatever is that she actually is talking to me and she's talking to every dude who listens to that song uh, and that's again like the nature when people have that divine love consciousness um there's a recognition that everybody is everybody each person is everybody like we're, we're talking to our anyways that's less that's like next level type stuff but that's what it is and so and actually again she's talking to any any being who's listening to that song um and the love and everything because like we are working anyways that's that's whole another conversation about the universe and everything else but that's part of it so anyways all that being said what's the song from sade one of the songs is stronger than pride um I'm going to give an honorable mention as well. Turn my back. I think that's the one that is. Uh, turn my back on you. Never will I turn my back on you. All right. Uh, is that is that bias? Is that favoritism? Is that chauvinism? It is what it is. Um, and at the moment, that's a wrap. So peace and blessings. Um, there's uh, some other thoughts about from the conversation yesterday. Just yesterday, less than 12 hours ago. Um, however, well, not 12 hours ago, but 24 hours ago. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep this here because it's already quarter of an hour and um, that's enough deuces peace and blessing all thanks and praise to the most high Elohim Jah